Today is officially moving day. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. My name is Shaquilla. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome. Over here we do life and Christ. And I am about to move. Today is officially moving day. So if you're just not joining the family, thank you for joining and welcome. And welcome back to my returning family. But yeah, today is Wednesday. Uh, what's today? Oh, I can't remember. I put that. I got a U-Haul. I just packed up all my stuff. One of my stepdad friends helped us, so I'm driving a U-Haul. Um, my mama gonna drive my car, so I help car at my house, and he's driving her car so she can come back home. Cause her and my grandma come. But yeah, I just wanted to come say hey, introduce the vlog. Your girl is about to move. But yeah. I guess I will see y'all when we meet. Oh, you Proverbs 31 with it, huh? Yeah, I see, I see. Ah, oh, you Proverbs 31. I see, I see. Ah, yeah. Oh, you Proverbs 31 with it, huh? Huh? I see. Oh, you virtuous, yeah, faithful, faithful, all around, hold it down for the crib, I know you won't trip, when I tell you God been talking, and we gotta do what he said, I know you'll try. Right there, so we done with the bed, the bed, putting the bed together, this how she's looking, I just gotta get, um, I gotta put the mattress pad on there. But everything from my room won't be delivered from Amazon until tomorrow. But we can go do the guest bathroom because I got all this stuff with the stuff of mine is on the Amazon tracks. Right. You stay, you stay, you stay. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you a proverb 31 with it, huh? Yeah. I see, I see. Ah. Oh, you a proverb 31. Yeah. I see, I see.
guys. Today is what's today? Wednesday. Yeah, today's Wednesday. Um, I slept at my place last night for the first time. Um, <clears throat> I've been up for a minute, but it's Wednesday, September the twenty fifth. Um, I got up and did a lot actually. Well, no, I didn't. Anyway, I'm going to show y'all what I did so far. I still got a lot of boxes over there, but they're just clothes and shoes. And I can't put none of that up yet because I have nothing to put my shoes in. And I don't know where I want to put my shoes in. Um, But I started on my coffee bar. I got these to put matcha and coffee in. And these are my syrups. I got to go buy some more to go up here. Because it's three rows, but I don't know what I'm going to put on them. And I just got my frother. Both of these are frothers. And I found these cute cups at, where was I? Home Goods. They were $10. And in this cabinet, I just have my coffee cups at the bottom. And like glasses, drinking glasses at the top. And then just regular cups up there. Um, I use those draw organizers. And I just got my coffee, I mean not coffee, my tea packs right there, straws, and more straws, and the lid to my glass cups. What else I did? Oh, I put my teapot on the stove. I put those utensils in the corner. That's all I did in the kitchen. Oh, and I had originally bought this to go in the guest bathroom, but it's too big for the counter, so I put it in here, which is still turned out cute. So yeah, that's gonna be there. Um, I put up my bed. I just gotta put my covers on there. It's supposed to be delivered today, but I love the bed. Amazon, of course. I haven't done nothing. I haven't done nothing in my bathroom. I haven't put up any TVs because my brother gotta do that for me. I don't know if he's gonna come today or tomorrow or what. And then this. I'm pretty much done with the guest bathroom, except I gotta um, hang, I have to hang some stuff on the walls. These, you know, the black shells I bought from Walmart that time. But I got that shower curtain. I got that on the wall, but I have a, another towel. I ordered some towels from Amazon with um, an S on it, and I'm gonna put that in here. Two, and then on the counter, I just have, don't mind my toolbox, but these are the shelves that I'm putting on the wall. And then I got, I love this, it's, uh, this, whole, this was a whole set from Walmart. It came with these, um, the soap holder, I, it's in the shower, because I had to take a shower in here, the, um, like a toothbrush holder. And I think I'm gonna move that and put it on one of the shelves on the wall because I ordered some like black and silver pumpies that I can see it right there. But yeah, that's all I did so far. And in my beauty room, I put, this is going to be like my Bible study corner. I got to get something to get that stain off my chair you got on there in the U-Haul. Um, but this is all the stuff out my shop. That side table is chair. I'm going to put that picture of Jesus' um, that hand right there. And I might put a shelf across to put like all my devotional books and stuff on. I got this mirror in the corner over here but i'm not sure if i'm gonna leave it right there or not and then this is my vanity area um i added my vanity mirror on here and my stool just sits on there i ain't got nothing in the drawer yet because i ordered some drawers to sit to the side or either stick under there if they'll fit so i have to put those together then i'm gonna start organizing all my makeup and this is the mirror It can go dim, it can go bright, then it has molds on it, so yeah, that's that. But so far, that's all I did. Um, my mama bringing me the rest of my stuff today when she come up here because I had to deliver to her house. I forgot to comb my hair though, so I'm about to do that. And then I'm just going to get up all the boxes in here and probably move my shoe box in here. And what else? Mm, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I just want to come 
show y'all what I had did so far introduced today. And yeah, I'll see y'all later. Welcome to the vlog. I don't know if I introduced the vlog for today or not, but um, what I was about to say? Yeah, if I had been, hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. My name is Shaquilla. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome. Um, over here we do life in Christ, and if Christ ain't involved, we ain't either. And today is Wednesday, September the 25th. So if y'all have already watched my other vlog before this one, y'all should have. Y'all will know that I just moved and I bought a house. Um, so go watch that vlog. You know, run it up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, but um, I just got done putting 12. It's 5.57. I had to wait till my check hit. So now we are about to run a few errands. But I was just been putting stuff together. Um, I showed y'all what I did so far, so yeah, I have started the vlog for today. But um, I put some stuff together, but now we're gonna run, first stop, we're gonna go to Lowe's um, to see what all, I mean, see if I can get these lights to go under my cabinets, because um, I had bought a unit from Lowe's, but I took it back and I had started paying on it, so I had some money left over that they owe me. So I'm gonna go see if they got these lights and if I can purchase them that way. And then after we leave Lowe's, we're gonna go to Walmart and I don't think I'm gonna buy groceries yet I think I want to save groceries for tomorrow so we're gonna go to Lowe's we're gonna go to Walmart because I just need like some cleaning some more cleaning supplies I need some more um I'm, I might get some to drink out there and I want to get um I need paper towels and stuff like that and then we're gonna go to maybe world market or something and I gotta find me something to eat since I'm not gonna get groceries. Y'all, yesterday all I ate was two chicken tenders from Pusakas. And I wasn't even hungry no more. But that's because I'm back on my shots. <laughs> um, what else? But yeah, I think I wanna thoroughly go through my grocery list before I buy stuff. I am gonna get my olive oil and something else because I got my containers for that. And then I'm gonna get, um, I got some seasoning jars. They came in today, but the rack for the shelf hasn't came back yet. So, but I'm still gonna fill the jars and put them in the drawer. So when the racks come, I can just put the racks in the drawer and put them on it. And what else? I'm gonna buy my matcha, I'm gonna buy my honey, and I'm gonna buy my tea. Not my tea, I'm gonna buy my um, coffee because I have to put, I got so I can put the coffee in the jars. Oh, and we need to find a container for my liquid dish detergent. And I need um, some more puds. So yeah, that's that's about it for right now. Um, we're head. Oh, and we're gonna get gas. The thing on the gas. I gotta give my brother a key too. But yeah, um, that's all I'm doing right now. So I'll be back once we make it to low. Yeah, so I don't. My phone is a freeze. I don't know where they would be at, but we're gonna. Are you in the center? I got food. They sent me back here because they said they were on clearance, but I don't see them. 
because they don't have the one. I don't see the ones I want. Back here. I'm going to ask somebody else. They got some clothing ones. I didn't want to have to put them in because I don't want no wires hanging. If it makes sense. Would you like to do this now? Okay, y'all. So now we're going to go to World Market because I want to get um, my matcha from there and, you know, like the little matcha thing that you're supposed to mix your matcha with. I want to get that and see what kind of like coffee syrups they got so we can put some more in the, um, so we can put some more coffee syrups in the thing in my, oh, on my bar. And then I want to go to, then we're going to go to Walmart. And I gotta find out what I'm gonna eat. Or I might just order get a warm up meal from out of Walmart. Cause I don't wanna go grocery shopping yet. What's today? Wednesday? Um I go grocery shopping tomorrow. That's Thursday. Cause I got a doctor's appointment Friday in Birmingham. And we can go to Trader Joe's. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh so I see how it were market. Pack the bags in a visa. I'm your man, let me need you, baby. You got God, you don't need me, but you love me. Say you love me, ooh wait, girl I know you love me. I just love when you tell me you love me. Love me, baby. Bitches with virgin margaritas, I know. God got his sense, so let's praise him, you know. Get comfortable, baby. Mm. You can't find me where you need me. You can't find me where you need me. You got God, you don't need me, but you want me. Love when you say you love me. What you get? Hey y'all. Ooh, my food is so big. We're gonna do a quick Walmart haul in the uh, We're doing our first Walmart haul in a new place. I didn't get much. Me and my mom gonna go grocery shopping Friday and I get that thing. So yeah, let me show y'all. Mm. Well, I forgot I had, I forgot I had already opened them up, but we got paper towels. We're gonna need one more for the other bathroom. Then I got uh, two of these to go in the bathroom. The um, paper towel holder. I got a Swiffer. I got this to put my liquid laundry detergent in. Also got the um, replacement for the Swiffer. I got me some White Castle <laughs> sandwiches. I got some um chai, sugar-free, gluten-free, almond milk creamer, sweet the sweet and creamy one. And I also got some almond breeze unsweet and vanilla. got more coffee stuff to do the coffee bar. I got some coffee, some instant coffee. Um, some chocolate to go, you know, the chocolate syrup stuff. I got caramel, classic caramel. Um, 
hazelnut. Pumpkin spice. Honey. And matcha. Then I got some more scent boosters to fill the jar up. Um, a nail, a stud finder. And I got this to go in the kitchen sink to put my dish soap in and my scrub daddy. And I got me some, what are these? Olipops. I got classic root beer, watermelon, classic root beer, watermelon lime, vintage cola, and ginger ale flavor. We got the, some Clorox spray, pine soil, Lysol spray, scrub daddies, um, an airwick plug, and a base for my bathroom. From what's the place? Where market? I got these honey stirs and the thing for my matcha. And then Lowe's owed me some money from when I bought that um that unit, but I took it back. So I got these to go under my cabinet in here. Yeah, I bought enough. Two, four, and I give them one to one each other. And then I got some. These smell so good. They came in. Somebody bought them for me as a housewarming gift, so I bought some of them. I like how they smell. I put them on the back of my toilet. Uh, I got these so I can keep my stove clean. These plus awesome in your bathtub. Ten out of ten. And that's all I got from Lowe's. And I got me some chicken leg to eat. I got an unsweet Sun Joy uh, kale crunch salad. Um, a 12 count grilled nigga. And that's it. My camera got 10%, so y'all probably not gonna see me no more tonight. Uh, I might let y'all, cause y'all already seen me filling up the rest of this stuff. I might let y'all see me put some stuff up. I don't know, but I'll be back. If not, I, no, I ain't gonna promise that. If I'm not back tonight, I'll see y'all tomorrow. It's 9.23, and I still gotta finish building that draw because I didn't get done. I didn't get done, so yeah. You build me up, baby. You got try, you don't need me, but you want me. Love when you say you love me, baby. What you get is unconditional. You build me up spiritual. Dolly little woman, I ain't rushing it. She ain't mine, I ain't touching it. That's a no no. Prayer time, did she come clutch with it? This the type of woman gotta give. Cause I know this love won't fail but God. We never give up on us. See, we gotta get to it. That's what love and God gives it. Ooh, baby. I know you love me cause you show me. 
You want me killed off the old me, baby. I know you love me cause you show me. Yeah, show me. You show me, baby. I know you love me cause you show me. You want me killed off the old me, baby. I know you love me cause you show me. Yeah, show me. You show me. You got me, God, you don't need me, but you want me. Love when you say you love me. Mm. What you give is unconditional. You build me up, baby. You got God, you don't need me, but you want me. Love when you say you love me, baby. What you give is unconditional. You build me up, spiritual. Shawty giving Esther, but she fed up. Searching for a king to hold it down. All this time you've been waiting your turn. They can never take what's yours. It's already written, baby girl, no trip. You already know what it is. Don't rush, just be still. Gotta give it to you when it fits. Sipping down your will and just ride. Love yourself in the meantime. Never feed into the lies. He know your heart desires. Shorty giving that stuff, but she fed up. Yeah, yeah. Shorty giving that stuff. Shorty giving that stuff. Shorty giving that stuff, but she fed up. Searching for a king to hold it down. All this time you've been waiting your turn. They can never. Give it 
Esther. Don't you let them down days fester. Don't you let your friends peer pressure. When it's their time, tell them bless up. Cause when it's yours, floodgates from heaven. I know, I'm telling you it's coming. It's like preaching to the reverend. But somebody had to tell you. Sit back and let it settle. God pulling strings like your pedo. Don't put your faith in no fellow. They poking at you with their nose when they tell you. It ain't in your cause, but God aligning the stars. You deserve a lot like a line of cars. Everything you want already yours. Yeah. If you believe it. Hey y'all, so um, y'all see I just got done with that stuff. Me and my aunt about to go to Target so we can find something to put on the shelves in my bathroom. So I'm just coming to tell y'all that. It look like it about to rain. But yeah, I see y'all at Target, I guess. That's the hardest part of receiving. You said cinnamon in here? No, ginger. This one's ginger. That one. What is that one? The same one? Salt, centaur, and ginger. Oh. I want to smell these to see if they what the hype is about. <laughs> I say you smell. Oh, they don't smell good. You broke down? He could have added Wait, 28. 48. 48. Oh, well, let's check down 28 first to make sure. Oh, this one's good. The shower curtain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know you're looking at the price. I, I can't even see it. <laughs> I'm scared to look. Mm -hmm. oh, not, for, not for a curtain rug. That's too much. Check it out on Lowe's and see how much they are at Lowe's. I'll buy it for you. See. This lady want me to pay $50 for a curtain rug. Some perfume that I had. It smells like one of those. It's either the Joe Malone or Carolina Herrera. It smells good though. It's the pink Carolina Herrera. We gonna smell it when we get back to the house. Okay, okay. okay y'all, I'm back at home. My realtor lady bought me a gift, so let me show you. <coughs> she got me this. So it's, uh, what it is? This a bathing rack? What do you see? A what? I guess this a rack. This a rack. And this rack. I don't know what this is. Oh, nothing. Oh, you are. <laughs> so. Some coasters. Some this thing. A home sign. I can paint that. You want to paint? And a cooking board. A cooking board. And what is this? Oh, some honey. I ain't even had to buy no honey. I guess they honey. Oh, I guess it can. Oh, it's a can. No, it's not good. I got this candle. It smell like, oh, uh, I gotta let you smell them perfume. This candle. Oh, this candle. Focus thing. Yeah, 
It smells like Carolina Herrera. Be cleaning. Fifteen dollars. I got this for the fridge. I need a hand soap. You know I got my plug. Sky and see soap. A one. Huh? Yeah, what now? I don't know. I'm following you. It's broke. I got us a body pill. The other, um, I know you said we don't look at TJ for that one. Wait now. Look, wait now. Uh huh. Cheap. What? The fees. BT. So I'm back at home. Oh, hey y'all. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm gonna show y'all a at home and home goods haul. And it's, this is it. I think I showed y'all this and stuff. So I got two rugs. Two rugs. My auntie bought me this diffuser. Um, a shower curtain for my bathroom. And this to go on the shelf in the bathroom. It's the same thing. Oh no, it ain't. It's Coastal Jazz. And this is Alder and Eucalyptus, but both on Smithy. Then I got this wax melt warmer. You can warm your, you can put your candle on there, or you can put the top on there and melt on um, some wax melts. I got some stainless steel wipes. She brought me extension cleaner. I'm gonna have to sweep again after I um, take this stuff out of the bag. I might go outside and spray it. Oh. Um, I got this for Daisy. Then I got this for my um, utensil drum. And I got this base to sit by my mirror in my room to put some pamphlets on. And this is, I'm about to go outside and spray it. But I got this pamphlets.
But I got a spray of pink. I think it's gonna be cute. And I got this. Where my auntie bought me a big stick. Cause I ordered one from Amazon and it's saying delay and I got all my other stuff. But when I get ready to do the bed and stuff, I'll take y'all in there with me. Oh my god, you 
Okay, y'all, so we're gonna do a quick little grocery haul. I, everything in my spirit did not want me to do this grocery haul for y'all because it's the week before my cycle, and if you know, you know. But, anywho, I said I was gonna go get some cheap meals, and I still spent $200. And what did I get? I don't know. Uh, I bought a trash can, and I bought a rug for my bathroom because I didn't have one. And I got Dr. Pepper for me. Cause I like that, Dr. Pepper. We ain't about to be doing 50, 11 dishes around here. Mm -hmm. I need these for like when I open up my snacks and stuff so they won't go bad. Zip them. So, I don't know if I told y'all, but today I went to the dermatologist because my primary doctor referred me to the dermatologist in Birmingham. And it's a whole lot, a whole lot of, with the autoimmune stuff. And on top of that, now they told me that I have HS. So he told me to get Panoxyl with 10% benzoyl peroxide to wash my underarms with. And he told me to get um, an unscented deodorant. Now, I couldn't find a regular unscented deodorant. All the unscented deodorants I found were aluminum free. And I done tried some aluminum free deodorant before from Native. And baby, I was smelling like a can, a can of, I don't even know what to say, but it was a bad can or something. And I mean, it don't got a scent, but I'm scared. And then I picked up to work tomorrow and I wanted to try for the first time tomorrow. But I'm scared I'm gonna get musty. If I get musty, I'm just gonna be like, hey y'all. So yeah, I bought these two things. This is why it was two hundred dollars. Cause both of these were ten dollars by itself. Um, I don't have like my regular plates and cups, so I bought <laughs> I just bought this little plate and this this bowl and plate. Um, Sarah, she bought me um, the plates out of my registry. I think that she said it at her house now. Um, but I just got these because the one she ordered me a glass and we just said we're not we're not gonna be washing dishes every day. Right? Right. My phone is so big. And y'all, I took my um, press on off when? When did I take my like two days ago? And my nails are, my nail beads are sore. Like normally, and I haven't even been doing them as much as I used to, but I don't know, so yeah, we got this. I think that's cute. And then, I like these to eat by myself. So I got me a bag of these. Um, I got some grilled chicken breasts, frozen chicken breasts, and I got these. And I got what else did I get? I got that to make a grilled chicken sandwich, and then I got um, what else did I get? Oh yeah, I can use this too and like cut it to make a chicken taco or something, a grilled chicken taco. And I also got these things for the sandwich too. Mayo, Arby sauce, and what is this? Pepper Jack sliced cheese. And then I got um, this sticky white rice. To make beef and broccoli. There's my beef. Uh, and I got some frozen broccoli. And then I um, went to Cousin Cheese. And they had the beef and broccoli sauce. So I got it from Cousin's. And then. This I got this for breakfast. I just got some cheese. 
to because I'm gonna make some pasta. I already got some um, protein pasta. So I got that and some pasta sauce. And that's what I'm gonna use this for. Put it in there with this to make me some pasta. And um, I got this to go in it as well. And then I got some sweet potato hash browns. I ain't never seen them before. I was about to give me some sweet potato tots and I seen them and I'm like, well, let me try them. Um, I love cinnamon twists from Taco Bell, so I saw these and got these. Don't know how they taste. Trying to make me a bag, just keep my plastic bag. You know we had to have a plastic bag here. And we balling on the budget. So I got some white <laughs> cheddar, great value cheese. It's white cheddar and the regular cheddar because I don't have no snacks. And then what else? Ranch for my tacos. I got brown rice because I eat brown rice with everything. Um, I got this cheesy cauliflower broccoli and carrot. Thank you for like a little quick meal. Well, these bags wait. I don't want to put them on my head. I got this sandwich. And then, y'all know I had to get my beef bacon. So, yeah. Oh, and I got. Some eggs. So, yeah. That's the haul if you want to call it a haul. Whatever you want to call it. That's what the chips are. And then, I got some chicken Because these are going to go in the pantry. So, yeah. That's the haul.
y'all welcome to today's vlog today is saturday september the 28th i was originally supposed to be off but um tuesday the day that i moved i was sick well i want to say sick but y'all know my autoimmune stuff makes me ache a whole lot and like my body was hurting so bad and i would i didn't want to go to work hurting like that so i was like i'd rather just stay at home but then my mom was like i got somebody that can help us with your stuff today so I was just like, okay. And I went ahead and moved. Cause like, I felt if, if I had a gave out at, while, you know, carrying the boss, they were fine cause I was at home, but I didn't want to do that at work with a patient. So um, <laughs> I was mad that I did take off because I was like, man, I don't want day shift pay. Because when we take off, since I work night, they should get uh, incentive for night. So I would've got day shift pay cause that's the base for everybody, you know, once you start. But if you want nights, you get a uh, different pay. And I didn't want that. And thankfully, I had been trying to get a day all week, and somebody ended up calling in for today. So I took today because I'm feeling, I mean, I'm I'm fine today. So yeah, I'm on my way to work. And I just realized we haven't done the word for the road in a while. And I think this one came just in time. So hey guys, welcome to today's word for the road. It's been a minute, but um, what I'm saying? Yeah, so we've been reading in Proverbs. We read a chapter of Proverbs every day. And yesterday, I, um, I read Proverbs 31 instead of the one I was supposed to be reading. So I read Proverbs 27 and 28 today. And in Proverbs 27, verse 1, it says, Don't boast about tomorrow, for you don't know what tomorrow will bring. And I kind of like compare that to like when you have something coming or, you know, it's something good happening. I know sometimes when stuff about to happen for us in our life and God is blessing us with stuff, our first thing when we want to rejoice is we want to tell people about it. But sometimes you can't tell people everything because, I mean, like like the scriptures say, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And I always been that type of person, like, when I got something going on with good news, I don't tell nobody nothing. Well, like, you know, my mama know, my brother know. I, I keep stuff to myself until it's, 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 it's finished. And like half the time when I'm finished, I sit on stage. Because just like when I was in nursing school, ain't nobody even know I was in nursing school. The only way people knew, like, I was in nursing school with, with my job was because I didn't, um, I mean, you know, I had to be off and stuff. So I, like, I couldn't not tell them why I needed to be off. And, you know, they worked with me real good with that. And I'm thankful for that. But, yeah, like, I keep every, a lot of stuff to my, and a lot of people always say, well, God has for you, is for you, can't ever. Yes, everything that God has for you is for you. But the order and the way you receive it is, is up to you. It is up to if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing in that moment, if you're doing what God is telling you to do. And like even though you tell it, it's, people don't believe like when you when you being blessed with something, sometimes you telling the wrong person can hinder it. Things happen. That's why I when that scene I seen that scripture and it was like don't boast about tomorrow tomorrow. Don't boast about tomorrow because you don't know what you're doing. I didn't say the scripture wrong. I don't even think that what the scripture say. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, don't boast about tomorrow because you don't know what tomorrow brings. And it's crazy because, I mean, I feel the exact same way. Crowded. Yeah, um, what I was saying, dang, they messed up my train of thought. Yeah, don't boast about tomorrow because you don't know what tomorrow brings. Oh, yeah, I want to compare it to, like, you know how they said don't count, don't count your eggs until they hatch kind of like you know that's the saying old people be saying don't count your money till you get it because you'll be like okay i'm gonna have this and this and this much i'm gonna do this with that but when you get what when it when it come around that ain't even the amount you got and you done made all these plans and probably pre-made debt then now you don't even have the funds for it because you counted your eggs before they hatch like don't don't boast about tomorrow because you don't know what tomorrow gonna bring don't don't be over excited and boasting about the money you about to get because when tomorrow comes they're not might not even be what you get you know what i'm saying so yeah we have to be mindful of that be careful like just take things day at a time and like, i feel like this is what happens a lot too and make you more disappointed is when you boast about things that don't go the way you want it to go then you, people asking you questions you're like i don't want to talk about it well you done told me all this already so why ain't why ain't happening now why ain't going that way you can't leave me out the loop now you know what i'm saying so yeah that's the word for the road for today. And yeah. Um, I haven't done a I can't remember the last time I did a card with y'all, so we're gonna do a card. Oh, look at my finger. Fingernails stuck to the cup. Um it's a plans fair for lack of counsel. 
with any advisors they succeed proverbs 15 and 22 why did their card just play into exactly what he was talking about about not posting things to uh, talk about tomorrow and you know like plans for like we can make plans all day you can make a hundred you can plan your whole life out but ultimately it's up to god whether those plans play out or not and he is the counsel that you need for those plans to proceed he will send people in your life to help you with those plans sometimes I'm guilty of it too. Like when we want, when we make plans, we're trying to do something or get to the next step in life or the next level. And like we're like, okay, I don't want nobody to help me because I don't want nobody to think they owe me this. Half of the time, God be sending these people to help you, and you not want help and not want nobody to say you needed them or you owe them anything. It's hindering you from the plans you're trying to make. You know what I'm saying? So we have to get it. You have to get it in your life. I'm saying we, because me too, we have to put that aside. Like, we need counsel sometimes. You're going into something brand new that you don't know nothing about. You're trying a new venture that you know nothing about. And you just expect to be on top, like, in three seconds. No, you need counsel. You need somebody to help you. You need somebody to learn. Just like, think about with buying a house. You have all these different people at each level of buying a house. You have a realtor. She's the one that helps you look for the house. Then you have the financial person. They're the person that helps you get the money for the house. Then you have the closing order, the person that helps make sure you're going through all the right stuff and that you don't need to do this and you don't need to do that before you close and that everything is going good. You know what I'm saying? You need counsel. You need people to help these plans succeed. Not saying you can't do it on your own, but like, hey, you need, you do need people to help you do stuff. So yeah, and I had to learn that for myself. I'm not just fussing at y'all. I'm fussing at me too. <laughs> so we can fuss that together. But yeah. That's it for that. And y'all, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I'm um, actually going to end the vlog here today since it's Saturday. All I have to add in is the clips right here that's from in the car. And yeah, call it a day. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for all the love that y'all have given me on the previous vlog. So show this vlog. And the vlogs after these, the exact same love, the exact same care, the exact same enthusiasm, you know what I'm saying? Show that vlog the same thing. So, yeah. Thank y'all for being here and being a part of the CEO gang. And I will see you guys next time. Be blessed. And keep God first.